I'm reviewing this creative mindfulness guide and journal called I'm Here Now. Uh, it's produced by the Mindfulness Project. I was given this uh, book as a gift um, and I quite like it. It's quite like an interactive way to teach mindfulness, which is something that I find quite different. Because normally when you think of mindfulness, you think of like yoga and stuff like that. Whereas this is more like a, like a wreck this journal kind of style where, you know, you like do things like you spray a little bit of perfume on a page or you staple a leaf in or you like color things in. But then it's still bringing that like attention to being mindful and what you do. So there's a couple of pages that I really like. So there's one which is this page, which is the digital detox page, which we're obviously very big on. Um, so it's like one half of the page is what situations do you find yourself checking your phone in? You circle all the times when you do, so like um, while waiting for someone or something. And it really brings attention to all those times when you use um, your phone as like a getaway just because you're bored or just because of maybe like reflexive, like muscle memory kind of thing. And then the other half of the page is about um, spending your day without your phone. Um, so it's really like what you're planning to do or the nice things you notice while you're not looking down at your phone which is something that we're obviously very big on and um, you know you start to notice all the things like around you in nature that kind of thing uh, and then there's another page which I quite like as well which is the escape aid page where it brings again it's like a, bringing attention to um, situations which you might feel a little bit comfortable in and what you do to try and get away from them so obviously the biggest band-aid on this page is social media which is like if you're like in an awkward, semi-awkward situation, like if you're waiting for your friend to get back from the toilet or something, do you just reflexively check social media and start like mindlessly scrolling when you could be doing something else really? So I quite like that. Um, if I hadn't been given this as a gift, would I buy it for myself? I don't know. Um, I've tried, my, like my sister's got a reckless journal. I quite like doing that. So I'd probably, if someone had recommended it to me, yeah, I think I probably would. Um, or I'd probably buy it as like a gift for like my aunties and my mum. They're quite big on mindfulness and yoga and that kind of thing. So this would make quite a good gift for them. Just because like I said, it's a bit more like interactive and a bit of like a different thing than they'd probably normally be useful, uh, used to. Um, so I think probably overall I'd probably give this book maybe a solid 7 out of 10.